What is happening, guys? Welcome back. I am back. It's super exciting. I'm not just back to the internet. I am also back from my amazing trip back home to Denver, where I finally saw Star Wars The Force Awakens. Of course, I even made it on the news a little bit. This is the first time in 10 years we have a Star Wars premiere and a line to wait in. It says, I am a Jedi, next to some lightsabers. And it was an amazing, momentous thing. I had so much fun. Greatest movie ever. Star Wars is back. So I'm still riding the hype of that. Of course, I was gone over the weekend because my girlfriend and I did take that trip to go back home and watch the movie with all of our friends. Actually saw it twice on the opening day. Um, so because of that, I haven't been able to make a video for a while. It's been a crazy long Blitzkrieg weekend. And I just made it back to work today and I had all these fl uh, plane trips and it's just been crazy. Um, but, you know, a couple of cool things came out, Nintendo related in the last day or two, which is really cool. So it was a great chance to make this Nintendo related um, Rob Theories video for you guys today. My first video back after my awesome Star Wars vacation. I still just can't even stop thinking about it and ch chatting about it. Uh, I'm going to link below um, a podcast that I actually did with uh, Jay from the Game Cafe and uh, the new channel, which is called The Geek Something. I'm so sorry, Jay. I can't remember what the new one is, but I, I have it down below and also with Ms. T. So I'm going to link that so you guys can check out um, our podcast and our, I don't know, almost two hour review of Star Wars Episode 7 The Force Awakens. So, but this isn't a Star Wars podcast uh, video as much as I would like for it to be. This is about the Nintendo NX and more rumors, of course. So that's kind of why this is a Rob theory. What I'm getting at with this video is really just a theory um, that I've been thinking about for a while. I love talking about the NX. These rumors and stuff are a lot of fun. This theory of mine is just kind of my own personal thing. It's not based on anything, but something that did happen and come out today kind of lends itself to what's going on there. So the question I'm asking and the theory that I'm discussing today is when Nintendo finally will actually show us the Nintendo NX, reveal to us what the system is going to be able to do, what the controller and the interface is like, what the future of their home console market looks like, what's the power under the hood, you know, what are the games that we're going to be seeing, is it going to be another miss on the third party side, are we going to have third parties, like finally they've been promising forever, what games are going to be launching, who knows, the whole thing, the pricing, if I didn't say that already, you know, I, we know that they still need to give us that information, and you know, the rumor is that they're going to be um, making the system available next year. I kind of think that that probably will happen. I think by the end of the year, the Nintendo NX will launch. You've probably heard me say that a few times. Um, but again, the big question is also when they're going to show it to us and how or in what capacity will they reveal it to us. I have confirmed they will reveal it next year. Um, and so first, in order to touch to to talk about that, I do want to talk about the thing that actually came out today. I first saw from uh, from Nintendo enthusiast and post all posted all over Facebook is um, rumors again only rumors that Nintendo is actually going to be present at CES this year, the Consumer Electronics Show, which they don't always make it to way back in the day before many of you guys were probably even gaming many of you younger guys i should say before there was an e3 there was only ces which i think happened in las vegas this is like up into the early 90s or the earlier mid 90s i think the first e3 was like 95 or 96 or so don't i could be wrong but anyway there used to be just ces and eventually parts of ces the gaming side broke off and started e3 as its own convention and trade show but back in those days, Nintendo would always attend uh, CES. Excuse me, guys. Um, they would always attend CES. Then E3 started. Nintendo did Space World for a while, and they would do both. So now, because they don't typically attend CES, when they do, it's kind of a big deal. There's usually a reason for them to do so. The rumor is that this year, they are attending CES, and they're going to be bringing information about the Nintendo NX. And um, <clears throat> maybe having some closed-door or backdoor meetings with a lot of folks within the industry, probably game developers, presidents and heads of companies and studios, CEOs, all that stuff, to kind of show off the Nintendo NX, or at least talk about it, probably show some prototypes, discuss things like the power under the hood, the controller, um, the pricing, so the rest of the industry can sort of start getting in on the inside level of what's happening with this machine and what Nintendo's plan is going forward. Now, that may or may not be true. I think it would make sense for it to be true. It would make sense for Nintendo to do something like that. It, um, <laughs> as I've talked about oh so many times, it does make me sad that we're doing this at this point where I feel like the Wii U, if Nintendo really just barreled down and focused on this thing, could still be getting another year or two out of it easily. But it's just the way it is, you know? We're just past three years in, and we're already talking about and thinking about the, N the Nintendo NX and what's going to happen there. So I do think it would be smart for Nintendo to be at CES and do these purported rumors and, and conduct these backdoor meetings with, with P important people in studios within the industry. 
So, you know, I, I don't really know what's going to happen on that. That's what January 2016, I think. So that's sometime next month is when that's going to happen. So we'll wait and see if that turns out to be true. But if that's true, it does mean that Nintendo really is ramping up and getting ready to sh- talk about this thing. I mean, they obviously have enough go enough going on. Uh, enough as far as the prototype, enough playability, enough information and plans and pricing structures in place to be able to discuss it with studio heads, which means not too long after that, you think that they'd be ready to show it to us, the gamer, the gaming public, the rest of the industry, the people who are just wondering and waiting and what's going to happen with Nintendo's new console. So my theory is that probably in February, pretty soon into the year, which is only three months away, I feel like around February, maybe March or April, but my sweet spot is February right now, for Nintendo to officially reveal the NX. And how do I think they're going to do that? I think they are going to do what both Sony, Microsoft, and even Nintendo did when revealing their most previous systems. People kind of forget that Nintendo had their own, you know, in-person kind of conference event uh, for the Wii U. And um, they, you know, of course, streamed that. That was when they gave us the pricing. They showed us that there were two different SKUs initially. They talked about Zombie U. They revealed that Bayonetta was going to be an exclusive, Bayonetta 2. They had, um, not Bobby, I don't know, one of the Activision guys come up for Black Ops 2 and show it running on the machine and on the gamepad on stage and talk about this is the first time we've had these HD graphics on a Nintendo console for Call of Duty and look at how great it looks. This is exciting. And, you know, Reggie hosted this thing for the most part. They talked about Nintendo TV a lot now that I think about it. They did a whole bunch of things. Um, And it was pretty cool. Like The the difference is what Sony and Microsoft did the following year around the same time. uh, Actually, I shouldn't say the same time. Nintendo's happened like, I don't know, like the end of summer, I think. Maybe like the August, September time before launching the system just a few months later that November. Sony and Microsoft, (laughs) excuse me, they both did it a little bit differently. I think Sony did theirs in February. And I think Microsoft was then like March or April after that. So in that early winter end of winter beginning of springtime was when both of those companies revealed their plans for their system launching later that year and with sony and microsoft they were officially announcing and revealing the actual platform they were saying yes we can now 100 percent confirm we're making a new platform we can also tell you it's called exactly this we can start showing you some exact features that's this this and this Um, They did not have pricing. Of course, we know that played out later at E3 that year and one of the greatest E3 moments in history, to be fair. Um, But they did talk about everything else. We got to confirm that it wasn't the Orbis. It was the PlayStation 4. And I don't... What Was it Durango? Was that the Xbox One? Oh my God. Maybe that's the 360. I don't... I feel like it was Durango was the Xbox One code name. You guys tell me if I'm like way old with that. Either way, they finally said it's the Xbox One and this is what it's going to do. And that's when they had all the people come out and talk about, you know, TV, TV, TV. That was the whole joke. But regardless, that unfortunately terrible conference was the reveal of the Xbox One. So all three companies did that. Nintendo, of course, had already revealed the Wii U, the name and the system and the tablet controller at E3 just a couple months prior to that. Um, so, or actually a year and a half prior to that, not a couple months. So that wasn't their reveal of the system, but it was a reveal of the final details. Sony and Microsoft revealed their system in their own little press conferences and then revealed the final details at E3. So I feel like that whole long story and recap of details was really what led me to believe that Nintendo was going to do something similar and kind of a, a combination of all those things, where I think in around the same time, February, March or so, Uh, Again, February being my sweet spot, but maybe that's just because I want it sooner than later. Uh, I think that they will have their own conference, streaming event, a bunch of press present and in person and in a big auditorium. And they're going to say, this is the NX. And they're going to show the box and they're going to show the controller and they're going to talk about it. And they're going to give us probably only a slight hint of games. If Nintendo wanted to just come out like Rambo at a fucking machine gun turret of death, they would come out and show a bunch of great games. I feel like they won't do that. With If we're lucky, they'll give us pricing. That might be too early to get pricing, but it depends on when they plan on launching the thing. I think that we will get the official name. It's obviously not going to still be called Nintendo NX. We're going to understand the controller. They will probably talk about, hopefully, partnerships and all these things again. You know, maybe, maybe not. Um, I don't think this is going to be a streaming Nintendo Direct thing, by the way. That was the purpose of this, is I think it will be an in-person conference, just like Nintendo, Sony, and Microsoft did previously, um, just a couple of years ago. 
And I think they'll show a, show us a couple games. I think that they might be able to hint and tease stuff. Like, yes, Metroid is coming. Um, yes, Pikmin 4 will be an NX game. Yes, um, there will be a, an NX version of Zelda for Wii U. I think they'll do those kinds of things. Maybe they get something like Call of Duty on stage again. Uh, or something to that effect. Maybe not Call of Duty exactly. Some other big title like Madden. Maybe they confer Madden's coming back. Something like that. So they're not going to probably give us a whole bunch of games. Um, I wouldn't think. I just honestly... You know, any of that stuff could be wrong, I guess. I don't know what they would do. I just... Long story short, <clears throat> I really just think that it's about that time that they're going to officially reveal it to us, and I think they are going to do it about the same way that previous companies had done it, where they show us the machine, they give us the details, they give us the name, they show us the controller, they show a couple games, and they hopefully very confidently and fairly aggressively can say, boom, bitches, this is the Nintendo NX, be excited. This is what's going on. I'm sure there'll be enough of uh, probably a scenario where they have to say, oh, you'll get details later this year at E3, which luckily won't be more than just a couple months away at that time. Um, so, I mean, I guess that's kind of the end of the theory, is the time that I think it's going to happen and how I think it's going to happen. Yeah, I feel like a lot of people have been maybe expecting something like a Nintendo Direct or a streaming event only, where it's Nintendo's pre-edited sort of presentation of, let's show you this, that, and the other. And that would be okay, I'm not going to pretend like it wouldn't be fine, I guess, but I think that they would be better suited if they went live again. Um, again, like I said, um, all three companies did it last generation. I would like to see Nintendo do that again this generation. Get people in a room together. Get people excited. Show them some details. Maybe they can do some live, sta live stage demos. Obviously, they can't do the full blowout of info in games because they do need stuff for E3. Um, but it'll be really exciting to see, right? I, that's just kind of the thing is, is what's really going to go on there. I think that it's going to be February or March. And I think that they will do it live, and it's going to be very similar to what we've seen this previous generation, and hopefully we get a bunch of games. I would love it if I'm wrong about that, and they're just like, boom, 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 here's a game, 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 you know, Metroid, Pikmin, Zelda, like I said, all these things. Uh, maybe they can confirm Watch Dogs 2 is coming, and Madden's coming, and the next Grand Theft Auto, or whatever games it's comfortable for them to talk about, Mass Effect Andromeda. You know, these kinds of games they can maybe start talking about seriously, confirming Dragon Quest XI, which was a rumor a couple months ago. They can finally start showing third-party games that are going to be awesome and coming out to the system. But... It all remains to be seen, doesn't it? We have no idea until it actually happens. Maybe they don't talk about it until E3. Uh, it feels like they're going to do it before then, but maybe that's when it actually happens. I mean, at this point, we have no idea to know, but that's my theory, is early beginning of the year, and it's going to be a live show. So what do you guys think? Do you think that that's a fairly accurate or legitimate kind of you know theory or guess as what Nintendo is going to do and when they're going to do it? Do you think that I'm completely off the mark? Uh, are you excited about that idea? Do you think that it's a smart thing to do um, at the time that I think and the way that I think? Would you rather them just go back to the streaming thing or do you like the live press conference idea like I do? So there's a lot going on. So you guys share. Tell me what you think about it. Does it make you excited? Uh, have you seen Star Wars The Force Awakens? I bet you have. Talk about how freaking amazing you think it is down below. And if you didn't like it, because some people don't like it, sadly, that's okay too. You can talk about that. But really, this isn't a Star Wars video. Like I said, this is about the NX and those crazy rumors and my Rob theory that February or March, we're going to get a live conference revealing the NX to everybody in the world. So that's it. Thanks for tuning in. As always, guys, I love chatting about this stuff. Uh, this is Rob of Rules to Review, and I will, of course, see you next time on another video.